Hydro Rod is my main focus. That is my passion and it's what I spend the majority of my time thinking about. Running distance races in general is incredibly challenging. The dogs are athletes, of course, but the humans need to keep up with the dogs. And that's probably the hardest part for me is just keeping up with them and their ability level. Well, there's so many hundreds and thousands of hours that go into loving our dogs and training our dogs and thinking about the race and planning for the race and all the logistics. We have 50 dogs here and at the end of the day, only 14 will start that race. My name is Jeff Dieter. My name is Katie Jo Dieter and we own Black Spruce Dog Sledding. With our visitors, we spend a great deal of time educating people on what it takes to train and raise and race a competitive Iditarod team. And that means sharing the ins and outs of our dogs, but also our life, living off grid, eating with firewood, building remote camps, keeping our trails open. Our goal with every visitor to our kennel is to give people the authentic dog mushing experience. All of the dogs that you meet here are either Iditarod finishers, current Iditarod racers, or young dogs that should hopefully race the Iditarod someday. Touring and racing overlap in a really nice way with creating a well-rounded dog. For us, it's really important that our dogs are social and friendly, not only for our business, but also for being out on the race trail. We have fans, we have veterinarians, we have villagers on, on the trail that are interacting with our dogs. And I feel like this is a great way to get our athletes accustomed to a busy lifestyle. Running our tour business really makes me appreciate this state and this lifestyle that we live. There are times that I take what we do for granted um, and having people come to our home and see our lifestyle really reminds me of how unique this is. Having visitors come and spend time with us and seeing their smiles and seeing how engaged they are is such a good reminder of how lucky we are. I first became interested in mushing when I lived above the Arctic Circle. My family was in the town of Norvik, um, which is about 50 miles north of Kotzebue, and I saw dog racing for the first time when I was six. And I saw the energy and the enthusiasm that dogs have for their task of running and pulling, and I knew that that was what I wanted to do. When I was 19, I ran my first day. Our dogs are everything to us. The relationship that I have with my three and four time I did rod finishers is a bond that I have with no human and with really no other animal on this planet. Um, yeah, I mean, I get emotional just thinking about those dogs. It's, yeah, that relationship is, is really special. Excellent. <laughs> Finish on a good note. <laughs>